Let's go YouTube. Let's go to everybody. So, in other news, Tom Brady announced his retirement from the NFL. Um, <clears throat> now, the first time he did it, you know, he caught everybody by surprise. He said that he was going to retire. And then he unretired, and then obviously he took a video to his Twitter page, all choked up and emotional, saying that, you know, he's thankful for the for the years that he, he was able to play, you know, football. And, you know, he didn't think that he was going to get an opportunity when he got drafted in New England. Because obviously he had to beat other, he had to beat two other quarterbacks to get the starting job. Obviously, you know the starter um, broke his leg, and then obviously he had to, you know, come in and you know step in and do do his job. Um, and then he told, I I remember in the interview he told Robert Kraft that you made the biggest. Uh, I think he said something about him making the the best decision that you ever made. And then obviously he went on to win seven Super Bowls. Um, he could have won eight if, you know, and I want to, I, I hate the word saying if, um, but if he had beaten Nick Foles, he would have had eight, technically. Um... I won't take the two away from Eli because obviously both the Super Bowls could have gone either way. Uh, but the one against Philly, he could have won eight Super Bowls. So he could have been eight and two in Super Bowls. Um, he was pretty darn good in the playoffs, but obviously look at the competition he was facing. You know, he had to go through Ed Reed and, and Troy Polamalu and Ed Reed. I said Ed Reed twice. Ray Lewis, Ed Reed, Troy Polamalu, uh, he had to go up against, you know, uh, very good, you know, teams in the early 2000s, you know. Uh, obviously, you know, he beat the teams in the NFC because obviously two teams from the same conference can't face each other. So, you know, when he was beating up on the Panthers, who were pretty good, the Rams back then, who were pretty good, um, um, who else? I think that's it. I think they only, yeah, I think they only, re uh, I, think, uh, I, I think they only three-peated. Um, and after that, you know, they just gave other teams shots and stuff like that. And, you know, what he did for the Rams the second time, he beating the Rams for the second time. Um, you know, beating, you know, the, the, the Falcons, people thought the that that year the Falcons was gonna get their first championship after being down twenty seven to, to three. You know what I'm saying? Um but you know, I mean if you wanna put if you wanna put Tom Brady up there with Joe Montana, I can't argue with you. You know, the the them the number the accolades they speak for itself. And I know a lot of people are gonna have their take on Tom Brady, you know what I'm saying? Um, but you have to put in, or you have to factor that, you know, um, you know, he's been a class act guy, uh, you know, he never missed a snap almost that one time where he missed the whole entire season due to a, uh, uh, a leg injury. But after that, he's never missed a snap, you know, he had arguably the greatest wide receiver to play with him. Two wide receivers, obviously, Randy Moss and Ross Welker. Uh, he had subpar running game. He had a subpar O-line. You know, <clears throat> he had below averages wide receivers. You know, he had, he had Annie Amendola and then he had Julia Edelman. He had two good tight ends in Grok and, uh, Grok and Hernandez, R.I.P. Hernandez. Um, you know, so he had somewhat of a supporting cast, you know what I'm saying? He had Fred Taylor and, you know, and, um, Terrence Mar Maroney. 
So he had pretty good weapons over the years, New England. You know, look at the division he was in, you know. Uh, the Dolphins, uh, the Bills, the Jets. Uh, almost, you know, he creamed through that division. You know, obviously those two years that the Jets won in the AFC Championship game back, back, back to back, 2009 and 2010. But other than that, he's just, He's just been owning that division. Now the you know, now you see the, 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 the Bills are owning that division, which I think that division is wide open. But um you know, but you have to factor in the most important thing is Tom Brady a Hall of Famer. Yes he is. But you also have to factor in that did he have something to do with Spygate? Did he had do? Did he had something to do with the Flategate? You know, did he? And that, and I think those are going to hold him down, because obviously, to be honest with you, I think it wasn't really his fault. To be honest with you, I don't think players are responsible for stuff like that. I think that's just up to upper management, coaches, owners, GMs. You know, <clears throat> they think that they can cheat the system by taking errors out the ball and making them lose, you know, pressure. You know, because when you throw the ball, you're supposed to throw it with velocity. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're supposed to put a little mustard on that throw. You know, the balls were selling. You know, when they checked the ball temperature or the ball, um, how much mass that the ball had it was like under 25 which i think uh, a regular football is supposed to be the, supposed to be like 30 something like that it was below the average so when the other quarterback dropped the throw his throws was not you know hitting his targets you know what i'm saying they were just dropping all over the floor you know what i'm saying so you have to factor in that, you know. Did Tom Brady really cheat? Um, you know, they took away draft picks, you know. Uh, like a bounty gate with the Saints, you know. They took away multiple draft picks. You know, they suspended players. They fined players, you know. <clears throat> so, you know, do you hold that against Tom Brady? Was that really Tom Brady's doing, you know? Or was it Bill Belichick who was pulling the strings? Was was it Robert Kraft? You know, but to me, even though I hated the Patriots, I respected Tom Brady because of his mental thinking. You know, he took the game even at his even at his stage right now. He tweaked his game. You know, now he's seeing that he's competing with a bunch of old heads. I mean, not old heads. Uh, he's, like, competing against a whole bunch of, you know, young dudes. Pat Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Danny Dimes. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to put Kirk Cousins in that. Joe Burrow. You know, like, the league is evolving, you know? So, and he was still putting up the numbers that he was putting up. In that era, kind of like LeBron James, you know, but I will put Tom Brady in my top 10, not top five, top 10, somewhere top 10 because of the flake gate, because of bounty and not bounty gate, uh, because of uh, spy gate, because of those accusations, I have to put that against them. Because he could have just spoke up and say, yo, Commissioner, you know, of course he was not going to say that. Yo, Commissioner, you know, Robert Kraft and, and, and Bill Belichick is plotting such and such, you know. They were spying on other teams and stuff. B b but to be honest with you, all 32 teams cheated. Like, I could go down the list, you know, like the, the, the 1972 Dolphins, they cheated, you know. The Giants with the walkie-talkies. You know what I'm saying? The Bengals. The Vi like, every team cheated. So, for to, to say that the Patriots were the first ones... I mean, they was not even that good in the early 2000s, early 80s. You know, they got better around, like, early 2000s. 
you know. That's when they got better. <clears throat> uh, I think they were called New England, New, New England Amsterdam, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then that's when they moved to New England and they renamed themselves the Patriots. So, but anyways, man, let me know what you think. Where do you rank Tom Brady all time? Is it top five? Is he number one? Um, I remember they was doing the top 100 and then they ranked Tom Brady number one, like three straight times in a row, you know? Um, but, you know, it's the player's choice. You know, I wish the NBA had that, but obviously the NBA don't have 100 players. Uh, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, just let me know what you think, man. I'm going to drop two videos. One is about Cuban Doll and 6ix9ine, Takashi 6ix9ine, and I'm going to drop this one. So I'm going to drop two videos in one day. Um, the other video is on my tablet because obviously my phone was dead at the time. It was at like 15%. So, um, yeah. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, Till next time, take care of yourself and each other.